Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, it's summertime and it's hot and it's just the right time for some homemade ice cream. So I thought I'd make a video showing you how I do it. It's really delicious and easy. Well, you want to get a nice big bowl and into that two and a quarter cups of sugar. Now you can adjust this up or down depending upon your preference. And then you want to add one can of evaporated milk. It's 12 ounces. And there's lots of different recipes. This is just the way I do it. And then you want another can, and this one is 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. And it's a little odd because it's a smaller can, but it has more ounces, more weight. And then farm fresh eggs. I'm going to put six eggs in. And if you don't have uh, safe raw eggs, you can use the pasteurized liquid eggs. And then we want to put in two tablespoons of good vanilla, vanilla extract, and then some milk. And the amount's not that important. You could fill this bowl up and it still wouldn't, we would need to add some more. So we want to just get enough milk in there to get this uh, combined. And we want to blend it until all the sugar gets combined and the eggs get beaten. So just mix it with your hand mixer and you can add some more milk and you want to get it nice and frothy on top and make sure all of that sugar is combined and mixed in. So after you get that nice and combined, you can go ahead and turn your mixer off. And it's so simple. It doesn't take long to get this mixed together. We'll bring it over and pour it into the canister. This is my ice cream maker. It's the type that's been around for a very long time. You pour that in and it doesn't come near filling it up. There's a fill line right here and you just then add enough milk to bring it up to that full line. You'll see it. You probably can't see it in the video, but I can see it. And I'm going to need a little more milk, so I've got a little bit more here and another gallon. It doesn't quite hold a gallon of milk because of all the ingredients. And then you want to put the paddle in. I remember when these paddles were wooden. This one's plastic. Put the top on and then you just set the canister inside of the bucket like this. I remember when I was a, a young boy I would sit on top of one of these as they hand cranked it. And then of course you just want to put ice in. Put a layer of ice and a layer of salt. Now, you remember the old hand crank style? Well this electric one is much much easier and so you layer a layer of ice, a layer of ice cream salt, it has to be ice cream salt and you need salt, it helps it to freeze, until you come to the very top, you fill it up all the way just like that and then you put the motor on top and it snaps into place and this makes making ice cream so easy and you just plug it in and you let it turn and it'll make ice cream. And as the ice melts down, you just want to uh, replace the melted part and keep it full. The outside will start to frost over like that. And this maker is so old, it has cracks in it. It's over 10 years old, but it's still going strong. So we just keep using it. And then when it finally stops, the ice cream's ready. And so you just kind of rake away the ice that's on top, pull the motor off, pull the top off, and there you have it homemade vanilla ice cream. And you could make all kinds of flavors. This is just regular homemade vanilla. It's the kind I like the best. And look, it's so beautiful and delicious and soft. Get you a nice bowl like that. And there we have it. Easy homemade ice cream. Oh, and it's so delicious and so refreshing on these hot summer days. Well, that's it. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you give this a try. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.